In this video, I'm going to show you how to take in the bodies of your wedding gown. And uh, it will be easy, I promise. And it's a lace gown, so... Um, let's go have some fun! And here's the dress. As you can see, I mark, mark it with a disappearing ink. The bride put this dress on and then I just kind of pinch the side to where the extra part of it and pin it. And then after that, I mark it with a disappearing ink. Same with the other side. But you have to be very careful if you're if you know you can't get the work done right away. You might want to use the other type that you have to dab with the water, because the disappearing ink ink it might disappear before you could get the job done, and it's gonna be a problem. And also inside before I before I take the pin off I also mark here's the mark right there and same with the other side When doing the fitting, make sure that make sure that the bride is comfortable how the dress fit, because if it feel like it's gonna fall down, then you have to tighten it more. Okay, we'll take this dress to the machine and let's get started. First, let's take the pins off. And as you can see, there's beads. So we'll have to be careful not to break our needle with that. And I'm going to show you how to do that too. This is the underarm part and here's the front and this is the side seam. Let's mark that, that we have to take that in. So we are going to rip the stitches from here to here. Give yourself an inch allowance so you can, you'll have room to work on. We're gonna open up. It's 
go check the inside of the dress and there's a chain to put the lining and the dress together we'll cut that first and so we can work on this part I could see the mark from the other side what I'm going to do is just trace that so I can see it better I'm going to give myself some room to work so I'm gonna rip this part to it this is the waist part now I can open this up and it would be easier for me to work on so I'm working on the lining right now first we have to open this so if you notice the front is longer than the back and if you just sew it like that the back will be a lot shorter without ripping this side seam off so now I'm have I'm gonna have to rip this so it will be I will try to get the, the back and the front even as much as possible in a way Okay, now because the front is a lot longer, we'll put a stitch on that and it's kind of gonna gather it very little, not a lot, but just a little. We are going to sew the back to the front. There's your mark, so I'll trace it. I can see it from the other side. because the back is a little shorter than the front don't even it up like that just drop it a little bit if you're not used to sewing without pin you can also pin it like that you can pin it, pin it all the way down but I'm not going to I'm just gonna sew it fast I'm making sure that my mark on the back is lined up with the mark in the front. Kind of stretch the back part a little bit while you're sewing. That way it will kind of even with the front.
And we'll sew the skirt lining to the bodice lining back on. We'll work on the lace part. We'll have to rip this apart. Rip the waist to the stitch on the waist that connects the skirt to the bodies when you're ripping just be very careful some of the dresses are so fragile so be careful not to damage your dress And we'll open this up. It's the side seam from waist to the where your underarm part. So what we are going to do with the beads, we are going to crush it. With my handy dandy pliers, I'm going to crush the beads. Just break them. That way you don't have to secure and tie the ends of the thread. If you have to, if you don't crush it, then you have to take them one by one, take them out one by one. And it's a lot of work to tie the ends of your thread and these pliers I'm using is I just use this for this purpose I don't use it for something else that way it's it always it's always clean you don't want to use a dirty pliers and get the dress all dirty It's good to buy a pair of new pliers just for this purpose. You might want to wear goggles when you do this because it might get in your eyes. remove this chain it's just they put it there for the loop for the the belt here it's in the way so 
cut it off no more beads that's in the way oh there's one Now let's check the back. I think I got them all. Just sew a stitch on the front just like what I did with the lining just to make it a little shorter than it is so it's more even with the back And there's your front, this is the back, kind of, don't line it up perfectly because you're gonna remember the back is a little shorter. I'm stretching the back as much as possible. Line them up. Secure, secure your stitches and cut. I just need to iron that to get it flattened. So the waist back together. Let's check if uh, the lining and the outer shell are even. Looks like they are. Let's check the other side to make sure we don't have a big pucker before we close it back. Looks good. Here's the lining. Looks good. So we can close this part now. Reverse it back.
before I close this part here I'm going to iron that so it's so much easier and it will not look bulky make sure to test your iron so it's not very hot and it could melt your dress if it's too hot I have it set to sulk Now that I've ironed it, I can close the armpit part. Let's trim this a little bit so it's not too bulky. I usually leave an, an inch allowance in case the bride uh, gain a little more weight then there's an extra room to let out. Pin the seams together so they are lined up. You don't want it cockeyed. Okay, that's the part that I ripped earlier, so I'm just going to back tack there, secure my stitches, and sew it up to here there, where there's stitches that I did not rip. And I'm going to back tack my stitches there too to secure it. Just check underneath the to make sure it's not puckering. Just make sure it's all flat. Let's trim the thread. There's the other side. Just want to show you both sides. Looks good. See the top stitch here so we're going to do the same here in between where we rip the stitches to get it taken in
just check underneath to make sure you're you're not sewing part of the dress in the spot that you're not supposed to your thread from your bobbin too so here it is and just follow the same procedure for the, the other side like what I did with that one here I'm just going to sew this loop back so she can use it for her sash I'm getting the needle from inside so she can so nobody can see the the knot that way it's not going to be sloppy it's hard to sew while you're standing I'm standing so I can get close to the camera for you guys And that's it. And the mark will disappear in within 24 to 48 hours. And I can also dab some water and it will disappear. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you have not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my other projects. Okay, this is Jix sharing the joy of sewing one stitch at a time. <laughs>